Hey guys, uh, welcome to another exciting audio production tutorial by yours truly. Anyway, uh, today what are we looking at? We're looking at automation. Uh, automation of uh, effects primarily. Uh, if you don't know what automation is, and maybe you've only heard of the term, it's basically uh, the adjustment of parameters, of effect parameters in real time that record and then are able to be played back that sounds a little confusing, but uh, I think you'll understand once I show you this. Now let's take a look up at the session here. Um, I have an N19 sampler. I've loaded it with a four bar loop. Here they are. I pasted it out twice. So eight bars. Let's listen to the loop. Okay, so we got a little Avicii rip here. Somebody's uh, definitely snagging a style to create this little sample library. Pretty cool. Um, all right, so let's get let's get going. Uh, I want to automate a filter EQ. Okay, uh, you hear this sort of thing going on pretty much in uh, pop music across the board uh, nowadays. It's it's especially uh, dominant in dance music, but I mean, I even hear some country records where they're starting to utilize. Uh, the filter automation, okay? So left hand click just as you were creating any sort of uh, plugin for this unit and here it is. I'm going to use a controlled filter, okay? Now to get it to automate in Reason what you need to do is you need to select the unit, any unit you want to automate, left hand click, scroll down to create track for, in this case it's filter 1. If you were using delay it would say delay 1, so on and so forth. So now we see that I have a corresponding filter one track to go with uh, the actual effect unit, okay? Now, to record the automation, all you need to do is select the track of the effect unit you want to record, and then actually hit record and tweak the knobs, um, and it'll record it, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and start recording uh, my automation on, on this particular 8-bar loop. Here we go. Okay, uh, it draws your movements, which is nice, and I'll show you why in a second. When you double click on it, it brings you into the edit window, and you could see every time I moved, Reason had marked off the position of where I had kind of stopped. Uh, you can clean this stuff up, and a lot of times I recommend that you do. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. Uh, if your grid is on, uh, you might want to take it off just to get a little bit more room. Uh, it started about here. I'm going to go ahead and delete these because I kind of want it to swing right up. And then I want that little boost here, right, all the way open. And then these I don't want. I just want it to close right off. Let me get a little closer. Yes, that is what I want, right? So the filter EQ opens, 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 peaks, and then tapers off towards the end. Okay, now let's hear my automation back and uh, see how well we did. By the way, if you automated right, the parameter which you automated should be highlighted in green. Here we go. All right, and that's all there is to it. If you got any questions, uh, leave a comment below. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.